Hello, hi. My name is Daniel Leonard and thank you, thank you for watching my YouTube channel. This is Crypto Sounds. How we talk about cryptocurrencies, we discuss about scams and we explain blockchain. Now, my name is Daniel Leonard and today I want us to actually know what Bitcoin is. I want us to talk about Bitcoin. I want us to discuss the description of this Bitcoin and also define Bitcoin like most of you are using the word Bitcoin. Most of you are transacting using Bitcoin. Most of you are actually new in the cryptocurrency but you don't actually know the true definition of Bitcoin. Now, we are going to classify it into different terms and uh, I can... Uh, I can give you the specific definition for Bitcoin as a non-debt based irreversible digital asset with an intrinsic value in the security and inclusion of a payment system and decentralized government structure that runs on a global transparent ledger on open networks like the internet. First of all, there are about five strong terms that you should take note of the one is a uh, non-debt based this is not like the fiat money like your dollars or your euros whereby they are owned by the bank at any time the government can decide to not accept a particular note or actually change its design or bring a new note and then the the note that you are owning actually it's valueless like they are no longer accepting it this happened in india some years back and uh, they were uh, they refused to accept particular notes and gave people a particular period of time to refund it back so if we say that it's non-debt based nobody's owning it nobody owes it to you so for bitcoin you are owning it yourself it's your personal owned property there is also another time irreversible Bitcoin is reversible. Bitcoin transactions are 100% irreversible. Once you set a transaction, you cannot reverse it. It's the other person you send it to who can send it back. You cannot send it and then in the process you're like, oh, I sent it to a wrong address. So you click to resend it back. No, that does not work with Bitcoin. The transactions are 100% irreversible. You either set a new transaction or you lose that transaction for, for, for good, okay? Um, another term that we are going to look at, it's, um, it's a digital asset. It's not tangible. You cannot touch it, but you can just see it. You can receive it. It's a digital. You cannot touch it, but you can own it. You can show it to someone that I'm having this Bitcoin. It's of this value, but you cannot touch it. You yourself it's not it's not a jerry can it's not a basin it's it's not a paper it's it's not tangible so that's what we mean by being a digital asset like it's a digital product then um another another term it's a global transparent ledger like um first of all it's global everybody can see it and it's on a transparent ledger where everybody can access it those are the transactions like a person can check and know how many bitcoins you received a person can check and know how many transactions this particular wallet address is receiving how many transactions are confirmed and how many transactions are unconfirmed and how much dollars or how much bitcoins what the dollars you have received so with bitcoins those are the particular four best terms that define a bitcoin my name is Daniel Leonard and if you want to know more, more, more of these videos, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also share to your friends. I give a shout out to Jamie Ballet at BBC Sounds, uh, Georgia Cat at BBC Sounds and then my friend that is Bjorn Bjalka. Thank you so much for watching me. My name is Daniel Leonard and please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment. Mwah.